this video, we'll be discussing intermittent fasting and multiple sclerosis. I've got some evolving opinions that I want to share, so don't turn away, because that starts right now. Hey! What exactly is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting, in my opinion, is a biohack, which takes advantage not of what you eat, but when you eat. Yeah. When you eat food, specifically when you eat carbohydrates and to a lesser extent protein. But when you eat food, your insulin level spikes and that's the storage hormone. So when your blood level of insulin goes up, it tells your body, hey, store energy. So during the time that your blood level of insulin is high, you uh, cannot burn your fat stores because you want to hold on to that because you're in storage mode. And any calories that you bring in, boom, can be used either as fuel if you're currently running, or you can store that stuff as fat as well. And as long as your insulin's high, you can't burn your fat stores and you can store what you take in. When your insulin level drops, then you can tap into your fat stores because your body no longer has a store stuff signal, it has a use your own energy signal. And so that's a situation where you can tap into your fat. So as it turns out, many people like myself found themselves eating all the time. I was really eating like six times a day. Like right when I woke up, I would have coffee with cream in it, spike my insulin and I was noshing throughout the day and I was eating late into the night. And unfortunately I kept my insulin level high. And so all day long, anything I ate could only be burned as fuel if I was running, which I was not or it could be stored as fat, which it was. And so intermittent fasting takes advantage of this phenomenon to your benefit. Real quick before we move on, if you like this video, would you do me a favor and give it a thumbs up? Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Those two actions teach the YouTube algorithm that you like what I'm doing and help push out the content so more people with MS can learn. Thanks. And so intermittent fasting takes advantage of this phenomenon to your benefit. What you do is you eat for a set window during the day. So for me, that's from noon until 8 p.m. And then you do not eat any calories for a set window during the day. So for me, that's from 8 p.m. until noon the next day. What happens is during that window of eating, I eat calories, I take in energy and my insulin level rises and I absorb that energy and I store it so I can use it. Then I stop eating. And for the next six hours, my body's primarily gonna use the sugar, the glucose, and the stored sugar, the glycogen in my liver, as a source of fuel as I go about my day. But about six-ish hours into my fast, after I've stopped eating, my body has used up all those glycogen and sugar stores. And then it reaches for other fuel, now at this point, my insulin level has fallen. The storage hormone has been turned off. So now my body can tap into my own fat stores. The energy that I took on earlier now can be used and burned as fuel. By doing this, I access lipolysis, fat burning, and I start to burn my own fat. And the longer I don't eat, the longer I continue to burn fat. The next day when I break my fast, my insulin level spikes, it goes up, and now I'm storing again. I can't burn my fat anymore. So by eating for eight hours and then fasting for 16, you can tap into this lipolysis, and that's what I did to lose a tremendous amount of weight. And I'm excited making this video because I've kept the weight off very, very easily simply by adopting this 16-8 intermittent fasting schedule where I eat from noon to 8 p.m. and then I don't eat from 8 p.m. until noon the next day. For example, as I make this video, it's Sunday morning, it's before noon, and so I'm in my fasting period. I'm currently burning fat as I make this video, drinking black coffee and loving it. Now, just in full disclosure, not only am I doing the 16-8 intermittent fasting, that's one of four things I would say part of my personal diet regimen. And so I wanna be transparent about that because it's not just uh, the 16-8. Also, number two, I'm eating a high protein, high fat, high fiber, low carbohydrate, low sugar diet. So those are kind of the way I'm thinking about my macronutrients. 
Third, just like I talk to you on this channel, I'm choosing to eat whole food, real food, single ingredient foods, shying away from heavily processed foods, fast foods, sugar laden foods, soda pop, etc. Lastly, number four, I have a walking treadmill desk. And so instead of sitting in front of a computer on my tush during the day, I'm up slowly walking while I talk to families and patients impacted by MS. Okay, so yay that things are going better for me. I've lost a lot of weight, I'm much healthier, I'm sleeping better, more energy, good stuff. But I'm really excited to make this vlog post because of the experience that I'm learning about from my patients and families I take care of. It's been super awesome. I shared in previous videos on this topic that I feel that intermittent fasting is probably safe neurologically. Now, of course, if you're gonna do something like this, you have to talk to your doctors and healthcare professionals I'm not telling you that this is safe for you. I'm saying that when I've studied this, it doesn't appear to make MS worse uh, or to trigger attacks or stuff like that. And there's actually uh, science to back that up. So if you're curious about that, definitely check out those previous videos I made. I've been talking to patients and families about intermittent fasting these past couple months. And as folks have been watching my videos, some people have tried it out. And I've been really, really excited about the results. It does not work for everyone that tries it, which makes sense because not everybody's the same, but for the majority of people, they have really had a positive experience where they've lost 15, 20 pounds, which is awesome. And they're having some health benefits because when you weigh less, there's less weight on a weak leg because they're having improvements to their sleep quality and their sleep hygiene and they have more energy and a bunch of other cool stuff. Also, something that makes me feel really, really good is that some of the family members are also starting to mess around with intermittent fasting. And I've had husbands and wives of patients say, hey, guess what? Me too, I've lost 10, 15 pounds. And so that makes me feel really, really good. Now I'm gonna take advantage of this vlog post to ask you for some help and ask you a question. I've been trying to work out the language to discuss intermittent fasting with folks. And I wanna see if the following resonates with you. When I think of an easy and simplified way of thinking about intermittent fasting, here's what I come up with. Number one, skip breakfast. Number two, go to bed hungry. Number three, don't snack. Number four, high protein and fat, high fiber, low carbohydrates. All right, let's go through that. Number one, skip breakfast. The intermittent fasting window that I, Aaron, use is from noon until 8 p.m. That's my eating window. So I skip my breakfast. I break my fast for the day with my first meal at noon. Skip breakfast. Number two is to go to bed hungry. My eating window ends at 8 p.m. I'm going to bed after 8 p.m. And so I'm going to bed hungry. So that's the second one. Number three is don't snack. I eat a really good lunch and I eat a really good dinner and I'm not snacking in between. So I'm not eating before that, I'm not eating after that, there's no snacking. And number four, which is food choice, I'm choosing to eat high protein, high fat, high fiber, and low carbohydrates. So those are the four things that I would ask someone to keep in mind. And right now I'm asking you for your help. What do you think about that? Does that make sense? Uh, is one of them confusing? Tell me what you think so I can refine my language. If you'd like to learn more about nutrition and MS, click the video that's on your screen right now. I make a video every Monday morning, and so until that time, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.